up, I want to be the ferry driver here in Alaska. The next morning we loaded up on the plane. We flew into Ketchikan the day before and on that following day we were gonna head to Prince of Wales Island. The town was called Craig. We were headed to the Kingfisher Lodge. We went there last year and we were looking forward to having a blast with John and all his buddies again. We had four days of fishing lined up. The first day was a half day. Chuck and Jeanette met us at the airport. And then you take about a 35 minute car ride to the lodge and They've got a few different boats. It's a really cool place there. They cook for you, clean for you, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Wake up in the morning early and you can take up to six people per boat. We had four people on each boat. We cooked fresh fish each night, had some big steak dinners, had a nice fire, hung out, told stories. Just a nice vacation away from Florida and a great spot to go in Alaska. So check it out, Alaska Kingfisher Lodge. Weather's not great today, a little rainy and windy flying in here, but we're loading up. We're gonna do a half day fishing today, and we've got three more full days coming up. So halibut, salmon, maybe lingcod, rockfish, all those. And there's a friendly competition. We all want to outfish each other. We're gonna bring you along for the ride. We got the Nick sticks, Johnny and brought a couple bean poles, and uh, we're gonna see what we can catch. What's the wager? 500. Well, we're the last ones off the dock, so we lose. Anyhow, we're gonna get some drone shots and all that, but the weather's not great today, so we just gotta go fishing for now and uh, there'll be more epic stuff coming your way. What do we got? We got... You need a banana weight? Yeah. We're we gonna catch fish? We're gonna slab them, huh? You see what we're doing here, guys? We're gonna have a a little bit of a competition between two Isle Marotta captains. We're going to see which one we can break. I don't know if we'll break either of them, but there's a good chance. Oh, there's a very good chance. Oh, Sarah's on too. On the Nick stick. On the Nick stick. Sarah's hooked up too. Oh yeah, you're on too. Oh yeah, good one. Oh, T on too. We're tripled up. Triple header. First one in the boat on the Nick stick. Are we stick. mooching? We're mooching. That's a good one, huh? We are on the salmon. We're using, what are they, sardines? Uh, herring. Herring. We're using herring for bait. We are dropping down day one of Alaska fishing. Oh. A perch. Oh. Funny looking salmon, Thompson. Yeah. Funny looking salmon. Weird one.
it's really windy and rough. We're picking away. We got maybe about 10 coho so far. Um, I got the braid on one motor and Jeff got it on the other motor. So he's trying to get it out now because you don't want the line mono or braid to be in there because that's what eats up the seals. That's how you blow a lower unit, you know, so your seal could get eat up there. All the gear loop could run out of it. But we're fishing maybe, you know, half a mile from shore here. It is rough and windy today, but the next few days look a lot better. So hopefully conditions improve soon. But uh, we're picking away, having fun. We're back at the dock, just unloaded. Coho salmon. A cart full with these two boats. One more boat's coming in. That's day one, but put them up here. Got a good picture with the two boats combined. A little too windy and rough to go chase halibut, so hopefully we're gonna do that tomorrow. But uh, first day, success. Didn't film as much as I would've liked just because the weather was so crummy. Windy, rough, rainy. But we're gonna do some sushi tonight. There's some shimi with some salmon. The crew's over there cleaning up the fish. They're gonna bag it and process it, put it in the freezer. Then we're gonna do the same thing again the next few days. And uh, I think we're doing steaks for dinner tonight, but then we'll cook some fish up here too the next couple nights and show you guys some of that. So like every five years, we catch a vermilion, and uh, it's very rare. And uh, so Thompson made sure that Nick. Oh, we got it. Uh. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! We got the trophy here. Right. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Wow! Oh, yeah. Yeah. You catch like three a day. <laughs> what is it? That's a yeah. vermilion snapper. It's a vermilion. You got it out here? That's not yeah. a, what a vermilion. It was really rare. rare. No. <laughs> That's well, not. Is it rare? Huh? Yeah. Is it rare or not? Um, yeah, no, they get rare. like well, seven. Get That's seven. 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 seven every day or so. That's a nice mount. Yeah. No, it's a nice mount, but I mean. It's a day two at the Kingfisher Lodge. We're getting the Nick sticks rigged back up. We're gonna fish 20 pound mono on today on a pen torque. Yesterday we caught some on the braid. Also caught the motor, so they were not happy about that. But uh, it was really windy, so the boat was sliding all over the place. But a bunch of steaks last night for dinner. We all ate well. It's day two. We're heading out. Hopefully Nils can put us on them. Friendly competition between the three boats, and uh, we'll see what we got in store. Captain Nils, he loves the camera. Good morning. <laughs> If it was pretty, I would like it. There's our bait. Have you caught any yet? I've caught a few. Any keepers? No. Not yet. Alrighty. This is my real choice this morning. There goes the B team. <laughs> the B team. Got Definitely the C team. Yep. We just had the drone up, got some good footage. Just got this nice coho here. A mini rod, coho. AK Silver Salmon. Down we go. Shark. We have got a big fish on. I dropped down the small rod to the bottom, which I said not to do, but I did it anyhow. He told you not to do it? Nah, not really. He said the co-hosts were down at 110 or 120, but I hit bottom. 
I've got a big fish on and he's scoping that way. Yeah! I said I wanted to catch a halibut on this rod. I caught a small one earlier. Alright, well, we start catching them and reel them in. It's a big one. It's gonna take forever. What else could it be? So that's a big halibut? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> big halibut. Oh, look at this one. What else could it be? Nothing. Let's just say, let's hope it's gaff, or, gaff worthy. Breaks it's a 40 pound. the boat. Yeah, he's pulling us backwards. <laughs> Mike, this is upon us. We're inside here, and he said there's a chance to get a big halibut. But if it's over 40 inches, you can't keep it unless you use a gaff tag, which is part of the commercial commercial quota. It's big and heavy, though. I sure would love to see it. Hopefully, we will. Nils is shaking his head up. No, nodding my head. Oh, nodding his head. Okay. We got collar. Is it a halibut or a shark? Oh, big halibut. halibut. Look at him. Oh yeah, nice one. That's a shark. Halibut? Halibut. Sort of foul A foul hooked halibut. Look at that aluminum rod. Yeah. <laughs> foul hooked in the belly. Yeah, I don't think you want to fill your gas bag with that one. All right, how big is it? 50 or 60 pounds? Yeah, probably 67. A 60 pounder. Foul hooked. Foul hooked in the belly. If he was in the mouth, I would have caught him even quicker. Yeah, Decent size one, huh? Yep. Oh, nice yeah. halibut on the mini rod. We're letting him go. We're not keeping him in the Here we go. One. We did it. We want bigger. And it was foul hooked too, so if he was in the mouth, we would have caught him even quicker. All right, How let's big go you think? Up, guys. 60 pounds or bigger? We're going to move. I think it's 60, 70. 60 to 70 pound halibut, 20 pound mono on the pen torque on the Nick stick. But he's over the 40 inch you know, slot, and we have gaff tags. We can keep one per boat while we're here. You, know, you can buy as many gaff tags as you want, but we want to try to get 100 plus, so. It's a good fish though. He might have been bigger, might have been 70 pounder. Sounds like our team may have hooked another king over there. We'll see back in the dock with a guy. Good job, Sarah. Pink. A pinky winky. A pinky on the jig. Yep. Let me see that jig. So I did catch a coho on this jig yesterday, jig pro fishing, but we lost it by the boat trying to yeah. stick them. But Sarah just got a pinky on it. Pet Authority, 20 pound braid on there, one of the jigging rods. Good job. A lot of work. Respect my authority. Respect my authority. Uh, I would put it on the low to medium effort okay. of work. We we'll got a big one on there. How deep are you going? To the bottom. To the bottom, jigging it up. Yeah. Are you going fast jigs or slow jigs? It's like that. Uh, I've been catching them. Catch one on camera. I'm gonna get bored and just leave it at one. I'll just do that for a few minutes. Leave it at one. In. One depth. So there has been a couple kings caught in the area. There's a lot of boats here. There's like probably 20 some of boats in here. Plenty of boats that we know one of our boats did get a big king, they said. The halibut was really cool there. Probably like a 70 pounder, you know, minimum 60, if not 70. And Last year, you know, we really underestimated the size of the one Sarah caught, so a little bit bigger when you pull them out of the water for sure. But anyhow, I think we got 16 so far. The cohos, the silver salmon in here. Picking away. Got them iced down. Nails is tired of the camera. You're hooked up? I think so. Egypt is finally hooked up here. We're planning our next trip there. Don't beep it up. Oh, oh he's chasing that top. Oh, a service lighter. Pinky. A pinky. So that's the pinky. He's no good. He's wait. It just tastes bad. Soft meat. Soft meat. Yeah. 
moved out here on the ocean, so we got out of the bay there. A little rougher, bigger sea and swell, but we're gonna see what happens out here. You have a halibut on? I think so. We're trying to get halibut now. It's wavy out here. We've got the little rod up there, waiting. Sarah's over there. Mills is driving, putting this on. It's more than ever. It's a long way down there, and we got a big old hook on there. We're going to circle it. Ooh, I got I got him on up here. We're on, on the mini rod. We're tight. We're tight. We're tight on the mini. Yeah. Oh, we got him on. We're tight. We are tight. 30 pound, 30 pound braid on here. 300 feet of water with the white meat on. I was feeling bad because we was pulling good now. We let go of that estimated 70 pound earlier because we didn't want to use our gaff tag on. We want to try to get a triple digit one in the next couple days. So, whew. it's over 300 feet deep here. There's a big ground spell because it was really windy yesterday. The wind dropped out, but you still have the residual sea here in the ocean. Oh, we tight, Ron's tight in the back. All right, we just doubled up. Yes. White side, dark side. There we go. Good job. Sarah, you hooked up? Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, tightness is upon us. We're hooked up here, and he is hooked up back there. Oh, we might have doubled up. We got two hooks on there, you never know. Could have doubled up here. He's heavy. Here it comes. We got color. Galore. Double? Keep reeling. Double, right? Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Nice job, the old two for one. No wonder why I'm so No wonder it felt twice as big, huh? Yeah. Well. So you, you got still color. reel that up? Oh yeah. Good job, Sassy. Sore? I wonder why that's so mixed up. A little bigger, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Good job, Sassy. Perfect. Work, you free. That was quick work. Good job, team. Way to go, job. team. High five. High <laughs> five all around. Good job. <laughs> Good. Lots of fish. Good. I'm sucking up our bait over there. Did you for... set the trot line or whatever you call it? Uh, I'm gathering bait right under there. You can go take a look at that yummy stuff. Alrighty. I want to pull it with you. Gotcha. I'm going to set it tonight. Okay. 
They're cleaning the fish again. We're unloading. The other guys already came in. Did not get a chance to see the king salmon, so unfortunately can't show you that. But uh, Charlie said he's going to put out his own line, try to get a halibut here. Hopefully get right out there with him, pull it, you know, tomorrow or the next day because checks it out here, just in the bay right here, right here past the boats. We'll see. This morning it was almost low tide and almost dead low. That ramp was super steep. I mean, it was up and down like that. But it's not as bad now. Anyhow, we will. Uh, we got two more full days. The big halibut, you know, which Nils thinks was around 70 pounds. I guess 60 or 70. Last year we really underestimated Sarah's too. It was fun. You know, we didn't keep it. We didn't want to use up the gaff tag, the commercial tags that we got. We got one per boat while we're here. We're hoping to get you know triple digit fish like 100 plus pounders. So we did not use it, but uh, we got our slot size halibut. Then we stopped, did some jigging on the way home. Got silvers on the vertical jigs, the Jig Pro there. We got pink salmon on it, also got a little flounder on it. So that was fun and wound up getting our limit. So wound up being a good day and uh, everyone's happy. So we're gonna unload now, get a picture or two and call it a day and a big dinner tonight. Are you getting these picture perfect? Yes, sir. That's what you get paid the big bucks for? <laughs> nice shirt, where'd you get that shirt from? Ah, uh, found Thompson, it on huh? the ground. There you go, I told him I found mine in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get nervous because the camera's on you. <laughs> fish scattered, right? The fish scattered, right? What's going on? At Probably can't see my face right now, but it's day three. We're leaving the lodge. Sarah's got the drone up, and uh, the wind is let up. It is very calm, glassy. Might be some rain later today, they're saying, but it's Monday. This year, they close the, the halibut on Mondays, unless you have a gaff tag, which is part of the commercial quota. And we do have one tag on each boat, so hopefully all the boats get a big halibut today. If not, we still got tomorrow, but you can't keep the uh, slot size fish today, unfortunately. Different rules every year. Sometimes they change, sometimes they don't. But we'll see you out there on Braden's boat today and uh, a little bit of luck, get our salmon and a big giant halibut. Stay tuned. We're gonna start dropping these baits down. Piece of herring. I'm getting mine rigged up, but that's what we're using for bait there, so that's herring there. We're going after cohos, which is also a silver salmon. And the big butt competition is going on, and that's for the biggest halibut while we're here. They have a trophy for it. They've been coming out here, I think, I think this is their 11th or 12th year in a row out here now. This is the hardest one of the day, the first one. Have you caught any yet? No, a little peaky. What's the name of your bar and restaurant on the Wilkin, lake up there? Wilkins Bar and Resort. Where is it at? Luck, Wisconsin, Bone Lake. Yep. On Bone Lake. Nice. We're on the board. We didn't get skunked. Sarah, what happened to your bait? I got skunked. <laughs> you lost one? Yeah. We have a free jumper over here. We're jumping. How angry are you? <laughs> the camera is on. Did it come off? You lose it? I think it's dead though, I think it's just like floating there. Right. Yeah! I don't know if it came off or... Hey Ron, we got a review. I looked in my nose and my face once. I don't want it. I don't want to do that again. I don't blame you. I didn't like that jeweler. So we're setting up trying to catch a big halibut. And we put a jig on here. I think it's a 220 gram jig. But this is a light line, it's only 15 pounds. We're getting the big bait rods ready for the halibut. You know, we're looking at that triple digit fish, the big butt, use a gaff tag on it as part of the commercial quota. We're finding out our drift first. But I sent down this jig on here, and sure enough, after about two minutes, I got a bite. It ain't a monster, but it could be a halibut. That'd be pretty cool on the 
artificial, so we'll find out here momentarily. Oh, a rockfish. Can I keep him? Can't keep him, unfortunately. So I got the pen fathom here, the 30 on the Nick stick. A pair of big circle hooks. We got the longer normal rods over there. Braden setting the anchor up there. Anchors away. We're gonna see what happens here. This is our bait for the big halibut. That's why I use a piece of salmon. Let's see what happens. You think we're gonna get him today? Oh yeah. Are we gonna beat Thompson? I think so. Are we gonna beat your father-in-law, Stevie? We have to. We have to beat him. Yeah. Couldn't let it down if we didn't. No. Well, today could be the day. The wind is light right now, but they're saying it's coming up this afternoon. But they say there's a big spot for big halibut, or a good spot for big halibut. You know, one big halibut. I like big butts and <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a good song for today. I'm trying to make sure. Nick needs to catch the biggest fish of the day on the little rod, so I just offered to like, you you know, gonna drop be, the little rod and hook you up. Luck on it. Yeah, and then you can reel it in. It's perfect. Where's your gloves at? Oh, those are mine. Oh, I left mine at the house. There you go. You haven't even used yours. I use wore one day. If you'd like my assistance, let me know. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, don't I would probably talk that way to me, I'll, guys. I'll probably catch a bigger fish. Avenge me. <laughs> when do you guys catch a 150 pounder? I got 200. Let's do it. So that's a bumpy, a pink salmon. To be bait. We'll bait your hooks for you and all that, but I'm gonna bait my own. I'm the type of customer they probably don't want. But I'm here. Making mess over there, dude. I am, sorry. <laughs> am I supposed to cut up there? Do whatever you want. <laughs> So I'm not cutting where you're supposed to be cutting. That's right. Yeah, it's a perfectly good right. cutting board right here. Oh, salmon you. eggs. Can you eat the salmon eggs as sushi? Sure. Let's bring them back for Thompson tonight. I'm going for a big one. These are my baits. We'll see who uh, catches who. All right, so these are my two baits. We're going for the big butt. We want a monster halibut. 100 pounder plus. I got this. What do you think it is, boss? How big? It's a big fish, whatever it is, I think. It's pulling good, huh? Yep. It's actually a medium? No. It's a good fish. Definitely a good fish. I'll let you guys decide. I'd eat it. He's a decent one, he's not a monster. That's the situation, you Six inches. 56. I just caught my first sling cod. They caught a few last year, some big ones. I didn't catch any, but just got one on the bronzy on the worm here. Oh, he's not happy. Holy moly. Calm down, buddy. 
Just yeah, I think this spun around like that halibut did. Now he's tied to a knot. Tied it up. Yeah, you saw me. Yeah. Might have to pull him on the boat, don't uncle. Be free, buddy. So you may hear that beeping. The keypad is going out. It's a little annoying, but it's always something on a boat. Non-stop. No matter where you're at. Always something to fix. Just got a little lingcod. My first ever lingcod and it was on the worm, so that was kinda cool. We got a few black blasts, black bass, and some epic scenery there. Sarah got the drone up, so here we go. We're jumping ship. Oh, Thompson's on the boat. You guys throwing it quick already? We're done. They caught too many fish. He yeah. said I'm too annoying. He threw me off. <laughs> Thank you. All right. What about the beer? Oh, are we supposed to get beer from them? Oh, yeah, Keep going. going. What about the beer? See you guys are heading in. You don't need it. They had some little funny chip struggles and wiggle and wiggle. Living lost coyotes. Keep it up, man! Jesus, man! You're out of here! Kevin, I want that idea! You got all that. the tools you need again! Don't be sure! You want that idea, Kevin? Oh, hey, 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 So I jumped ship, I got out with Thompson and his crew. Our boat was going in early, I said I ain't done fishing yet. We're just set up for halibut here. I'm trying to get that triple digit one, I dropped down the pink worm again, and I got something on. Not sure what it is, but we're gonna find out soon. Almost 200 feet of water. Are you gonna reset the anchor or no? I don't think so. We just gotta find it. This could be a halibut, there's no telling, it's heavy. It's bigger than the rock which we were getting earlier, I know that. Yeah. There we go, we got color. There's a leg. Yeah! Sweet! Look at that! That's awesome! Yeah. Leg is legal too. It might be legal even better! Wow! Thompson made it worth it right there, jumping on this boat. <laughs> He's got my first Good deal, Stanley. My first keeper. Look at that. That thing went nuts when it hit the boat. Alrighty. There you go. There you have it. They got it done. Yeah. Lingcod right there. 190 feet of water. So on the pink worm, on the pen torque, Thompson and his crew. It was on the. Yeah, I'm the. Have a big. So we got another big yellow eye rockfish, but you cannot keep them. So we're going to send them down with a sequelizer, the descending device, and get them down deeper and give them the best shot of survival possible. Bye, buddy. Good luck. Down he goes. 
What is it you think? I don't know, it just came away. alive. <laughs> it's waking up. So they stole my pink worm off here, but I got a few spares with me, just no pink. But I got my first ever lingcod, so I'm happy. It's a ling, it's small. It doesn't feel big. Not a hell of a big. Oh, oh, black, black bass. bass. Is it a bass? We got a little foster. Yeah, you did. Little foster. Sean, you broke off our jig. Broker. Who, Sean, who, whose knot was that? You must be from Minnesota. <laughs> whose knot was that? Yours? No, it was mine. Was off on so basically, one. every time we drop it down there, we're getting a bite on it. We got two wings on it and a couple black bass now. Thompson, of course, caught a black bass. What do you got back here? Why do they call you tractor? <laughs> do you sell tractors or because you're like yeah, big like a tractor? You must sell a lot of tractors. I was wondering what it was. And anyway, he's got on a nice fish. We didn't know if he had bottom at first, but could be another link cod, maybe a halibut, no telling. What's your gut tell you? I think it's a halibut, to be honest. It could be. It's shaking its head once in a while. Is that a line or no? No, it's another link cod. Another oh, link cod. Yeah. yeah. The link cods are biting today. Let me go to your left. Good job. Nice too. Look at him, nice one. Our first link cut. Awesome, congrats. Let's hope he doesn't lose them. <laughs> yeah, drilled him. Nice job. Oh, he's angry. That's the first ever link cut? Yeah. Good job. Nice. Either we have on a big halibut or the shark ate it. On the bottom, though. Yeah, five rods down. Big and light? A little bit. We probably took like 20 feet so far. There's a lot of head shaking now, though. I don't think it's a giant house bit, but the mini rod is tight. So the big ones usually come on bait, so we'll see. We got color. About 20 feet down. It's a halibut. It's a halibut. He ain't a giant, but he's a medium. I got someone else's line. Yeah, that's like a perfect. Yeah, middle one right here. It ain't a giant, but it's a decent one. The one yesterday was a lot bigger. Yeah. Place fish is probably like a 40 inch. You free, buddy. We need one twice that size. So we put this rod back down. We just let go about a 40 incher. And we're trying to get a bigger one. He's just got a blue shark right there. It's actually the first one I've ever seen caught. He's all twisted up, but this is a big halibut here, no doubt. He's fighting and pulling hard. This is the one we want, I think. I've never seen one caught either. This one's heavy here. Bring it in the boat. <laughs> Derek, grab this rod out of the water. You got it? Got it? So it's making it work for him. Around the boat, under the anchor. Here comes the rain. Storm's coming in. That's why we came back out here. They said, we'll pick you up. Just sign me in, put me in. Sarah's probably back having a margarita. Probably telling Egypt stories with the other guy. <laughs> He's a travel player, I didn't realize that. We got lingcod, we got black bass. They already had their salmon. Halibut, we can't keep them on a Monday. Now we're looking for a gaffer. And Sands could have the gaffer on. His name could go on the trophy. Oh boy. Putting the pressure on me now. It could be immortalized when I make the trophy. We're thinking about Frank and Los Cayos. We ain't in Los Cayos today though. We're in the big sea in Alaska. 
Where you at, Franker? Yeah, Franker. Franker, where you at? Lost well, Kyle's buddy. He's playing that old dog Trixie. We miss roof, Roy. Roof, roof, roof. Trixie's funny too. Here's to you, Roy. Yeah, for Roy. What do you think, tractor? <laughs> it's a big one. Big one, on small. It's rod. a big tractor, tractor. You got your first wing. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. That's my first wing too. First keeper. One small one earlier today. We just got color. About 15 feet down. Here she comes. It's a big one. Oh, it's big. It's big. It's, it's huge. It's hold big on, one. On. John, someone hold. When I'm ready. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. Alright, get, get the hook. Yeah, hey, I gotta go below you. That's a big one. That's a giant. Yeah! I don't need that bat really quick. He's barely hooked, it looks like. Yep. Barely yeah. in the skin. Give me that bat. Give me that bat. Give me that bat. He's big. He's big. Holy moly. He, he won't fit in the door. <laughs> Come on in, big boy. You're going to have to turn him on the side. Yeah, these two big guys. <laughs> Hold that camera. Point it down here. Yep, there you go. Hold, Johnny. Pull. You got to twist him. Pull here. Yep. Come, come here and pull. We got to twist him. Guys. You got to twist him. Right there. Catch. Oh my god, he's big! <laughs> Thompson! Woo. Oh my god! Damn fish. <laughs> Here, Tim. Holy moly! Look at the silver. <laughs> That's unbelievable! <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> yeah! A little bigger than 56 inches. A little bigger than 56! I think. It's over 80. Maybe, maybe not. We don't have to use a gaff tag. No. <laughs> oh, no. Is that how it works? Yeah. What? Holy moly, let's pull out the door. You, you redeemed yourself. Oh, I'm Obi Wan. Holy moly, you guys, that's my foot compared to its tail. That is a big uh, fish. <laughs> what do you think now? <laughs> Nick sticks for everybody. <laughs> That is a monster, Dude, he took out some aggression with that bat there. <laughs> We're on it here. For fishing game. How big? I'm eyeballing right now. 79 and a quarter. Holy moly. On the dock. <laughs> Thompson. Wow. That's awesome. Nice we got a big one, you guys. It's fat right though. The 70, uh, 79 I got before here. Yeah. Through the door. This one's wider. How much did he weigh? 210. So this is a 200 pounder? I mean, it's it's over 210. If it doesn't fit through the door, it's, it's probably better. This could be a 200 plus pound halibut on the mini rod. So right about 40 minutes. Unbelievable. Fish of a lifetime, no doubt. And a big thank you to John because we wouldn't be here without you. Memories made for a lifetime. Taking that one to the grave. And you too, Sean. Good job. Oh, yeah, everybody. That was a wild ride when you got the hook in them. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap your the door. And, I know. It wouldn't go through the door. I mean, what kind of fish doesn't fit through a 30 inch door? That's true. Yeah. All I know is I don't want to be in a dark alley with Sean in a ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> he was going nuts. He's going to have some aggression. Schmitty. Schmitty, good job. Thank you. 
Oh. The king? Yep. Yeah, nice one. Good job. King Master. King Master. That's a Harry 40. Yeah, the one is massive. Hey, buddy! Trying to get a free meal. Holy moly. Now that is wild. Took him about 40 <laughs> minutes on the next stick, but he's got it. What do you think that yeah, yeah, weighs? Wait, we're, we're guessing the weight here. We got him on the little rod. We're all guessing. What do you think it weighs? I think I said. Got well, on the little pole. It was, it was yeah. on the little pole. That's you tell unreal. the other guy that I went to the toy store, that's where we went. <laughs> we're in the candy factory today. <laughs> He cut off about two good? pounds of tail, though, too. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. There we go. The big butt. Go be a competitor. Can you see it? Yeah. 221. 222. 222. 222 pounds. 222. We got a 222-pounder. We bled on the chopped off some of his tail. Can we do the white setup? Perfect. On the little rod, didn't know if it could be done, but it got done. So these are king salmon right here, a little bit different. Most of the ones we've been catching have been uh, the cohos or silvers. We get some pink salmon too, which you don't really want. But these are kings. We got a pair of those this afternoon, and you know I jumped ship out there, and it paid off. Fish of a lifetime, 220 pound halibut, and king salmon, other cohos, ling cod. So epic day here. As far as big halibut this year, this is up to the top few? Yeah, top three. Top three, all right, good. Yeah. What was the biggest one? Uh, I think it was 260 or oh, so. It was like one. an 84 incher. I think it was on Sean's boat, so he's just the lucky one. That too. Was it caught on a Nick Stick small rod though? Uh, I don't think so. Do you believe that we caught that big fish on little rod? I mean, that's crazy. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, definitely. It's different, unique. Yeah, that is cool. Are you from Craig? Um, catch a can, technically. How, how long have you been here for? Uh, most of my life. My parents moved here when I was younger. But were you here last year? Yeah, I was here. I think um, I missed your guys' group though. Oh yeah, I didn't remember seeing you. Yeah, but there was Alyssa and Charlie. Yeah. But yeah, I was doing something. But. Not bad for your first time filleting a fish. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> Try my best. Do you get to fish yourself much? Um, I don't bit? do it. I don't do it a whole lot, but I mean, I've been doing it this year. Look at the size of that cheek! Holy moly! Yeah, I know. He's Look got that big cheek ones. right there. Holy smokes! Oh, nice. Yeah. You had to manhandle them. Yes, sir. You're left-handed? Yes, sir. Southpaw. <laughs> yep. Are you glad season's almost over? Yeah. I mean, my season is over. I guess after your group, because I'm going back to college. Where do you go to school at? Uh, Wyoming, University of Wyoming. Wyoming? Yes, sir. What's their uh, mascot? Uh, it's the Pokes. Well, technically it's freaking Cowboy Joe, but okay. the logo's a horse. Gotcha. It's a nice school so far. 
So is it going to be your sophomore year? Yes, sir. Nice. What are you going to be when you grow up? Uh, to be determined? So. Uh, you got an idea? Well, I got a contract with the Army, so something like that, but trying to major in mechanical engineering. So somewhere in the middle. All right. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thanks for cleaning the fish. Did a good job. Good job, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, good job, buddy. I don't fun. crank in many fish, but I was excited to catch that one. That was pretty cool. I you on that rod. Oh, yeah. Fun to watch. <laughs> Fun to watch, not to and do. The, and the heart was pumping. Yeah, yeah, you had the, when he was going nuts by the boat there, you had your hands full. Yeah. He was spinning around like crazy. Yeah. All right, well, it's time to head up there, go get some snacks. They're going to get dinner going here. The other boat's still out, but they're going to package all the fish up, and I don't know what's for dinner tonight, but I'm excited. Fish of a lifetime, no doubt. This is a lot. Is this halibut that we caught or somebody else? This is your halibut. Oh, it so is. this is uh, the gaff that Braden, th their boat caught. So it was. Was our bigger than theirs? Yours was way bigger. All right, just 50, 57 <laughs> inches, I think, is what Yeah, theirs was 57, okay. whatever like that was, was, 90 pounds, 100 pounds. So, so this you... is the, these are the chunks that you got. That's from the 57 inch. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Laura, so how is it? Hi, Sarah. Thicker, I think I remember yes, you from I've last seen you. year. Yes, I've seen you. Yeah. Look at this. You got a whole bunch of it in there. Yep. It takes a little bit just because it has to heat back Now you're cooking. She's a big part of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really is that like hard. a beer batter or what is it? Yeah, this is a beer batter. Okay, I could tell by the crust. So on the today fish we went with Coors Light. I oh, did. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky you snuck some of those by the guys. Yeah. <laughs> so what's in here exactly? This is a. I don't even want to tell you. That's a secret. <laughs> oh, I thought that was for so breakfast. You guys, you guys kept there we go. Beers or whatever beer you want. So when? Yeah. When would be good so it's beer and then just the pancakes. Yep, that's all we put in there. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, look at these potatoes. But if you go out there, Maggie will be on the on the fish cutting table yeah. when she was. How old were you when you started? I was, gosh, sixth grade when we moved here, so. Yeah, and we started right away. So yeah. they were cutting fish and since they were little kids. Now, I really struggle trying to work with my family, but you guys seem to do it, huh? Most days. Most, Most days. days. <laughs> I think everybody struggles with it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when it's a business that's so intense for sure. sure. But it's you know. fun to spend time, like, you know, the kids are running around. Oh, yeah. I like seeing the kids in the dock there and last year, too. And oh, yeah. So if you come here, they cook for you, they clean for you, they put you on the fish. You can stay a few days or even longer. Up to 18 people, I believe. We have a dozen in our groups. So we got the whole lodge and all the three boats. But I know I'll put the link below on the website. So if you want to come out here to Alaska and go fishing, Definitely come check it out. They will show you a good time and they will feed you and you will be happy. How's the food? Is it good? Awesome. Oh, Fantastic. Very good. Thank you. That's your halibut. Right. Yeah. Look good. It's day four of the final day. Rainy and windy. The rain just lit up so I got the camera out. But we got about 10 coho so far, which is silvers. We're catching some pinks too, but the pinks are really just bait. We don't want to eat those ones. Anyhow, we're going to see what the weather does offshore if we make it out there. Share a little bit here in the cooler now to start with. Big feast last night. That was good, fried halibut. Oh, they're not in there. They're in there, I forgot. <laughs> Cold. So all these boats have cabins on them. There's actually a little heater in here too. This is their summertime, so it's warm for them. But chilly for us is probably 50 degrees today and wet and rainy. But the rain let up a little bit, thank goodness. But uh, we're just every morning start out salmon fishing, then we kind of go from there. And if it's not too rough, you can go way offshore. If it is, kind of got to make do. And we're going to see what the conditions do the next hour before we uh, make a 100% game plan on what the plan is for today. The target species salmon. Good job. So we're just going to try to get our 24 of these, you know, six per person. And we'll head out and mess around. We had a lot of fun with the jigs yesterday. Didn't get it all on video because I only brought the GoPro with me when I jumped on the other boat. But 
dropping the jigs was a lot of fun. We had those Jig Pro uh, jigs and just getting a bite on artificial is always really cool. We also got some on the Ron Z lure too, so nice to mix it up and uh, have some action. A lot of it was catch and release with the halibut. The sea lion was insane. We thought we got a good video of it, but John was not recording, unfortunately, but Derek got a little bit, so that was cool to see him chasing up the uh, salmon to the boat there. And anyhow, day four of the final day at the Kingfisher Lodge. What's your breakfast? Brownies. Brownies? Yep. Do you recommend this place? Absolutely. First time here, right? Yep. And fun. More fun than fishing than me, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> it's a good one. Biggest one yet for me on this trip. All right, so they had a tangle over there. He got a big yellow eye rockfish, which we released with that. I lost my grub tail, my worm, my pink worm. I didn't bring the other ones, they're on the other boat. So I tied on that 300 gram Jig Pro jig in the first drop after about five or six jigs, we got a bite. No telling what it is. I'm hoping for another link cod. It could be a rockfish, could be a little halibut. Just don't know. I know it's something. The rod's bent and we're tight. Oh, a fling god! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a jig! Look at that! The jig is out. Look at those teeth in there. Check that mouth out. Big old teeth on them. And they caught these last year and there's a, what is it, 30 to 40 inches this year? Yeah. So they gotta be 30 to 40 inches. That's probably a 36 incher, but. On the metal jig there from Jig Pro, the light braid, drop it down, it works. Dude, that looks big. Yeah. I think that's a king. Look at him running. Look at him. I think it's a big king. I think he got on a nice king. I think his is a king. He's fighting hard. Good. Dude, let him run. Yeah, that's a big one. He's in the back end. Yeah, it's a big fish, 15 pounder. All right, I'll go and do it. Face him down. <laughs> yeah, big king on, baby. Devin, this is us. This could be the king of the trip. I hope so. You could take down uncle or uh, father-in-law Stevie. <laughs> hey, we got a king on. We got a big king on. 40 pounder. <laughs> big king on, tractor. Oh yeah, but he, I mean, he just dumped that reel. There ain't no coho taking that much line. You catching him honest, Abe? So you're allowed one king per person. And we could use this one. It could be the biggest one of the trip if he gets them. It just dumped, I mean, he just made a 100 yard run almost. Fighting really hard. A lot of the same thing they pull a little bit, but this one here is fighting really hard. He's, I saw him on the surface kicking. I could just see him on the surface kicking one time. Yeah. Oh! oh! That's a nice one. Oh! We got him on bigger right now if we get him. Good job. Oh my god, he got him! He's huge! Look at this king! Woo! Oh yeah. Break out the money now, guys! Look at that king. Holy smoly! Nice job, Devin. Good job, man. Nice. That's right. Dude, you wanted a big king and you got him. Uh, you got him. Yeah, Finally. Boy. Big. He's big. Hold him up. Look at him. Look at the size of him. <laughs> That's the real deal right there. Hold him up for our Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, you get into his mouth that perfect like that. Look here. <laughs> it's uh... We got Sarah pick it up. Oops. She let him out now. Sarah just dropped down the jig with the worm and got her a wing cut. Good job. Targeted species. On the next stick. Bigger size. You got a dollar here too. Oh, there you go. Cool That's back. the first person on the jig, huh? All right, we're going to let him go. Good job. Bye-bye, buddy. Well, the reason I ain't caught him no more. No. We're gonna take that right away from you to keep hooking bottom. Jig another one up, Sarah. There you go. 
I got you. You're good. Beautiful. That's good looking fish. Yeah, they're beautiful. Already? Or is that Jeff? We're jigging now, trying to get halibut on the jig. We got some baits going down. It's rough offshore today, so we're in here in the common water. They just got a couple double header. They just let one go. They kept one of them. They got one or two earlier. Trying to get our four slot size halibut. First, we gotta get our first one because we have zero so far. Oh, oh, oh. Sarah might be a gaff fish. Yeah, or double. Yeah, tightness is upon us. I'm trapped. Look at him going. Oh, yeah. So we're doing yeah, the I jigs. I lost a couple in a row there, but we're dropping down on a 15 pound braid. Really fun to hook them, but earlier we got some really cool fish on. We got some really cool rockfish, tiger rockfish, china rockfish, quillback, some sea bass. They got baits on this side. Sarah's got a nice fish now. Could be a double or maybe one decent one. Dave and I are jigging over here. He got a flounder earlier. I definitely lost to help it. Any more bites or not? Nope. So we're jigging away with these, but in, sh in here where it's calm, by these islands. The splice on, there you go. There we go, we got color. We got color, we got life on the line. We got it rod right down. Oh boy, he's a decent one. Oh, take it out of the holder there. He's a decent one, guys. It's a 40 over here. Look at him, nice sassy. Job. Nice, dude, that would be fun on the jig. Look at that. Well, this is too big. Good job, sassy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got tight. Three. Bye bye, buddy. You're too big. Be free. See, we don't kill everything. Yeah. How about on the jig? Looks like a keeper. Yeah. In the boat on the jig. Nice job. Now we're talking. And Sir, his right now. Sir, I'm the jig. Hey, sir. Appreciate that. I got your back. It's a codfish. Like your codfish. <laughs> Give me that filet of fish. Dave just put one in the boat, and I got another one on the jig. They're hitting the jig, a lot of them are getting up, but I keep her there. We knew in shore there'd be a lot more small ones. Oh, here comes mine. We got color. We've got color, folks. Ooh, it might be high 30s. Yeah, I cool. think so. It looks decent, right? Nah, uh, what do you think? Terrible. A lifter? I might lift them. I don't think it'll break. Yeah, oh. I said I think you could lift in one break. It broke. I'll take the blame for that. I'll take the blame for it. <laughs> so it is 223 feet here. Sarah is hooked up. Think it's a keeper? It's taking long. Sarah says keep it. No matter what. Did you get bottom with that one? Yeah. There we go, pull them back. There you go, we got color in the back. Is it a cod or a halibut? Yeah, got the cod on the jig, nice. 
You jigged up a car, that's sweet. <laughs> we gotta spike him with that thing. Boom, drilled him. The old codfish, good job. There's color. Got color? We got, oh, nice halibut. Oh, perfect 36 inch shirt. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The right, duties go. are oh, complete. Nice, Sarah. Surgeon 5. Nice. Hey, Sarah. Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> On the jig. I know, it hurts your heart. Nice. That's a more respectable one. Good job, Sassy. We were jigging it up. Just got my first cod on the big jig here, the 400 gram. That color, whatever that is. Chartreuse. Chartreuse and orange? And neon orange. And green. You going down again? Yeah, I gotta catch a bigger one. You said you were done. Well, I wanna try this one. All right, there you go. You can't help yourself, one for punishment. Drop it down there, jig them on up. Oh, it's heavy, it's big. Down, down we go. Oh yeah, hell of it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's not too bad. Pretty small. Bye bye, buddy. Want one a little bit bigger. Oh, tightness. Tightness on the jig. There we go. Tightness. Coming tight on the jig on the bridge, always fun. It's like a cod or something, not a halibut. Not a halibut, a cod? It's on the heavy jig. Do you like jigging? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Fun to hook them, not fun to crank them up? <laughs> yeah. Codfish! Big cod. Bigger than mine, Sarah. Oh, a big cod. Hang on, we gotta spike them. Oh, drilled them <laughs> through the eyes. Left-handed. Good job. Oh, boom. I like that. Rod in one hand, gaff in the other. We have something big on. We know it's a big stingray, like our skate or a halibut. We thought it was a fish. We thought it was bottom. We're pulling the anchor. We're dragging slowly in here, but Devin's back on him. No telling what it is. Something big. I don't know if we're going to get him. I've only got 15 top braid. And it started raining again. Yeah, see what this beast is. It's scoping up. Looks how the color is. It's a big ray. That's a ball on the jig. Can we eat that? Put it in Thompson's box. Look at it. What is it? What type? That's sick. On the jig. I have 20 notes. I don't see that every day. Ooh, I might feel like it's a chick bag. Put them by the fin. Well, I wonder if it's hard to get. I'm going to get them off. Yeah, good job. Nice. You're okay, buddy. Flip over. He's good. The cooler is oh, topped yeah. off. This side's shut, but we're gonna open it for the camera. We're topped off. We got our slot size halibut, a bunch of codfish, a bunch of salmon. We got a big king, great day, Sarah let go, a decent halibut, a 43 incher. Where the other boat's got a 57 inch gaff fish, they got a decent halibut today, and a couple of kings and all that good stuff. We're going in there for the group picture. You know, I can't believe this son of a got a bigger fish. Devlin, you spanked him. Oh, yeah. That's right. Not even close. Shit, yours is a big hit. It's called Yours is a big hit. It's something he's not trying to wear. You know, he's going to ask his daughter to try Team Sean. Devlin, Devin, they got the big king. You know, it's really not that much longer. Stevie, you going to get that mounted for him? There's three boats, they're unloading. <laughs> Great day. Charlie, what do you I think I'm going to throw him in the dock. Oh, who's a real? You don't get no How does Charlie get all that cool stuff? I didn't catch the big king, but Devin got him. 28.4 pounds. Come check it out. Kingfisher Lodge here in Craig, Alaska. Great few, great four days of fishing. We got a lot of fish to eat, and they got a lot of fish to fillet. You're cutting all in half, right? 
Yeah. Winner, winners, chicken dinners. All right. <laughs> For the biggest help at day three was Jeff, and he gets 60 bucks. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good boy, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Okay. Devin got oh, no. the biggest king, which was 120. Woo! Which, nice. Which goes uh, in my pocket. Thank you, Devin. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, thank you, you son of a bitch, for your trip. <laughs> and Nick. Nick. Yeah. What do I say about it? Yeah. Day one, he gets the biggest hell of it. Day two, he gets the biggest hell of it. Oh my God. Oh, and then overall, he it's gets the sweet. biggest butt of 2023. The big butt? He gets 360 bucks. Oh, 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 oh. Big Good. winner. Nice. Good thing it goes to the cook. And it yep. <laughs> Not only is that, that's the biggest hell I've ever caught. Yeah. yeah. Here, I, I was looking at On our trip. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, awesome. well, thank you, guys. Solid. We'll give you a round of applause for that one. Yay! Yeah. And on the smallest rod. Never. That's good. That doesn't pay anymore. So 100, 200, 300, 350, 360 to, to, to Lucky. Um, and then also, we have here a plaque. A plaque. Oh, yeah. That is given, saying the Big Butt Award 2023. Nice. To, I like it, thank you. I'll bring it down to you, Nick. No, it's okay, I'll come over there and get it. <laughs> no, no, you got that camera, and I want to be on the camera. All right. <laughs> there it is. Oh, the big butt award. But there's what you really want to see. Okay, and the name goes up on the tail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that next time you see. Yeah. There you go, wait right there. there you go. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. No, 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 no. That's no, I can't take that money. Take it. All right, there we go. <laughs> to Charlie. If you don't want the money, I'll take it. No, Stevie said you take it. Oh, yeah. Watch it. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. The big butt. And then next year when you come up, your name will be on the, on the tail, right? Next to... Uh, What's the name of this trophy? Right next to K-Hurt. It's the Don Hall Big Butt Memorial. Well, I appreciate it. And then your name will be right on the back next to K-Hurt. I'm trying to look for the host, but I didn't see him out here. But is the host not on there? Kurt Schmidt. I'm a great host. So, yeah. you know, we had to work really hard yeah, to get on that, that on that trophy. So, welcome to the club. Oh, thank you. How long have you been on there for? Two years. How long has your brother been on there? Uh, which one? My younger, my younger brother's already oh, on. This there. one hasn't been on yet. Oh, him? No, he hasn't. It takes no. a lot to be a good host to make everybody <laughs> happy. I'm the last guy that's happy. <laughs> I thought you were going to get Biggest King, and then he beat you. Yeah, but I did. I come out ahead of that. Hey, was. hey. Hey, come out ahead of here. He's the biggest he one. He said, but that's my bucket list it. item, catching that big okay. king. Guy says, bucket list? He says, yeah. I, I said, boy, that means I don't have to take you again. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Shot myself in the foot there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Devin, if I get invited again and I got two slots, I might. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, I know that was a long video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. That was a great trip there to Alaska. All the fish came back via FedEx. It was all frozen, vacuum sealed. We had halibut, we had salmon, lingcod, a few black bass, and it was really an epic trip there. And the kids are happy. They love to eat fish. The big halibut was uh, a fish of a lifetime, no doubt. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Go ahead and go to a trip out there. Check out Kingfish Lodge there on Craig, Alaska. And that's all we got for you. So hopefully the next six will be back in stock soon. I'm waiting on the manufacturer. If you want any shirts, any hats, any shorts, head to the website, stansfishing.com and uh, go check it out. So we'll see y'all next time. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you faked us yeah, out. Did you trick us? Did you see it? What? Did I you did when you Did you trick us? <laughs> No, you did. You did. <laughs> yeah. The first time we did. <laughs>